So already equipped off most of the stuff. Uh, as you can see here though, this is some of the wire that melted. This was from a VTEC solenoid. And you can see the VTEC piece itself is all melted. Uh, the actual clip. So I, I never had VTEC, so obviously we've done about probably 100 horse or so from that. But the, the crank sensor wire, and I can kind of see where the plastic is melted through. Uh, that goes down to the crank sensor itself. So hopefully the wire isn't too bad. It might just be a dead sensor though, you never know. So yeah, we'll see who goes. What I'll do now though is I'll whip off this uh, time chain tensioner um, and just start rattling off all these. Uh, obviously you have to take it off with a torque wrench and be very careful that you don't uh, strip anything off. Uh, you have to take your time with the cam regarding stuff. Don't use anything too heavy handed or anything like that just when you're pulling this thing apart. Okay, so <clears throat> looking around, all our collets are in place, everything's all happy, lost motion springs are all okay. There doesn't seem to be any issues here. The valve springs and the valves are all at the same height as well. Nothing's standing out yet at all. So, yeah. Still not sure what the issue could be. So, it might be in here somewhere. Right, so we've stripped it all down, cams out, carriers out. I've pulled apart the whole lost motion for the VTEC assembly. I've gone over everything, I've pulled the springs out of every one of the plunges, and there's nothing wrong. So that's a kind of that's a worrying thing. Because the next stage is pull the fucking head off and probably pull the pistons out and the rods. Do the full works because I ain't found anything fucking wrong. Rods look okay. Okay, so piston number one seems okay, no signs of debt or anything. Rings are all free. All the bearings, by the way, are all good. They're all, you know what I mean, no squishing or anything like that, no marks, nothing worth worrying about. And the piston two, a bit of score in there, but I don't think that's new, it's probably for the old engine. Again, no debt there either. Seems okay, rings are free. It's under three. Same thing, rings are all free. No any extra scuff marks. And then this is the problem. Number four, again, no detonation really. Um, this rings free, however, this part here, ring number two, is stuck in a groove. So I'm pushing there. And it's stuck in a groove. The bottom ring is free, just the second ring is stuck. Now, um, again, I'm not going to name the person's injectors I was running because I'm not I'm not a dickhead. These things happen in motorsport, you know what I mean? These, there's no warranty in motorsport. Like, you're taking your own risks when you're building and tuning and everything, you're rolling engines. Um, as for the tune itself, the tune's fine. Like I said, there's no debt on any of the pistons. All the rings are free and stuff like that. So, uh, And all the bearings are nice and fucking shiny. There's no scoring at all. So I know everything was, was happy, um, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm not headhunting nobody. Like I say, this is just purely motorsport. This thing's happened. 
Um, so I'll just have to try and look into maybe get myself a piston or hopefully I don't have to buy four of the bastards. But um, uh, yeah, it's 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 a shame. Like I'm a bit disheartened. But again, like I say, this shit happens in motorsport. Um, it's nobody's fault. It's just one of them things. If there's anything positive I can take from this though, the head gasket I took off was fucking mint. Not a slightest bit of leakage at all. So that's one of my major issues I've always had. Sorry, that's no longer an issue anymore. So we'll touch wood anyway. It might happen again at some point, but um, just over three bar of boost on the dyno, there was there's no leakage. So I'm happy with that. Coolant pressure's always been mint. So yeah. Uh, that's the that's a, that's a positive from it I guess so do I go VR6 from here like everyone's messaging me just now saying it's time for a VR6 and uh, to be honest if an injector failed and if that is the issue like I'll speak to some people why they think this has happened why it's nipped on the skirt if it's down to the injector that can happen on any fucking engine it doesn't matter what engine you've got so um, at that point I wouldn't be giving up the K-Series yet because that's not a good enough reason to give up in the old 4 pop. So sitting down and reflecting on uh, on the carnage that's unfolded on the engine uh, and speaking to a couple of the boys that are good with failure analysis as well pretty much confirming it was 100% down to the injector I was going over the day logs and that too um, and I could tell exactly the pull on the dyno that it happened I was on E98 at the time uh, and ethanol being an alcohol just wipes out all lubrication of uh, the bore so and obviously it's flooded the bore because 1500 cc injectors and that injector that was stuck open um, flows a lot of fluid flows a lot of fuel uh, just flooded the and bore washed it completely and flooded the piston flooded the, the bore itself and obviously what's happened is the pistons picked up on the bore um, and hot aluminium and, and obviously a steel bore uh, don't mix Fortunately enough at the time when the injector did start uh, obviously flooding open uh, the Max ECU did shut the car off because it seemed too much a differential between the cylinders um, that cylinder went really really cold after that run um, I, I think one of the reasons because it was one, one of the three bar runs when you're running three bar of base pressure and you put three bar on top that's six bar of fuel pressure uh, nobody tests their injectors on a, an injector tester at six bar so uh, basically putting it down to the injector didn't like the pressure on the head of it and it stuck open um, I'll have a wee look to see if I've still got the video of that fucked injector uh, that was stuck open you'll see the amount of fuel that would have been sprayed in the cylinder like I say E98 would have been alcohol just took rid of all of the lubrication and it's picked up and there's nothing else to it the slapping noise was piston slap uh, because the skirt has basically almost disappeared <laughs> That'll be an issue then. Nothing plugged in yet. As you can see from the video there, there's a lot of fuel. As soon as I turn on the ignition, the fuel pumps prime, start the car, it was just flooding the cylinder full of alcohol uh, and that's just washed everything away. Now I did notice when I changed the oil afterwards just before Crail that the oil I took out it was very watered down. Uh, so I'm kind of glad I've taken all the other bearings out to have a look but they big coils will burn through fucking anything so uh, that's why it would still run it was just really 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 smoky because um, on that cylinder it was just chucking all the fucking fuel in Jesus Christ but uh, I probably shouldn't have done like another dyno pool afterwards and then eight passes at Creole Raceway but I had in my head it couldn't be the bottom end it had to be the top end um, and that, again, that's on me. I'm just gonna have to take this as a loss, you know, take it on the chin, shit happens, and yeah, we'll just go from there. So the plan of action now is basically hone the cylinder. There is some marks at the bottom of the bore, however, the rings don't go anywhere near these marks. Um, and because the marks are indented, they'll just fill with oil. It's not actually gonna be an issue. So thankfully the bores look okay and they are salvageable uh, on, on cylinder number four. Since that injector failure, I was running a thousand cc injectors, just the ones I had. Um, however, I will buy another genuine set of fifteen hundred cc injectors um, and bosch them in, and uh, 
as the other set have been fine so far. I have to use the 1500cc injectors because they have the stainless steel internals and mixing fuels and stuff like that is fine. I don't want to use the 2200cc injectors because they're fucking pish. If you know anything about tuning cars, don't use 2000cc injectors. It doesn't matter if they're from Injector Dynamics. They tell you themselves on their website not to use them with MBFE contained fuels. So, new injectors. I'll get a new head gasket from Cosworth because that one sealed like an absolute beast and I'll also get a new set of bearings while we're at it too just because I don't like to put the old bearings back in again a new set of uh, rod bolts as well because they would have been stretched uh, the proper way you should put rod bolts in also, speak, fuck me, you guys are going to get sick in my face today but if you're interested in this sort of stuff you're probably still watching but I've uh, been in contact with Tron Pistons and they give us a message and saying like let us know how we can help so I've uh, messaged them, they're actually going to be able to sing me, send me a single piston uh, and a ring pack so um, I've also put a post up as well, I might get the skirts coated in that Teflon sort of coating which might kind of help with wear at some point if I was running really really rich mi mixtures in the future which I might do when I switch to methanol um, so that might help in that regard and uh, yeah so apart from that you know it could have been a lot worse and I mean it could have been a lot worse so I'm not saying I'm lucky because obviously nobody can expect or, or, or see a failed injector about to happen but all things considering you know it, it's not too bad